Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Schultz. Today we have another story from the Chinese fairy book, and this one, this is an interesting story. I really can't place it, and I can't find any corollaries in any other culture. I'm sure I'm just missing some, but still, it is interesting. This is the Silkworm Goddess, or the girl with the horse's head. In the dim ages of the past, there once was an old man who went on a journey. No one remained at home save his only daughter and a white stallion. The daughter fed the horse day by day, but she was lonely and yearned for her father. So it happened that one day she said in jest to the horse, If you will bring back my father to me, then I will marry you. No sooner had the horse heard her say this than he broke loose and ran away. He ran until he came to the place where her father was. When her father saw the horse, he was pleasantly surprised, caught him, and seated himself on his back. And the horse turned back the way he had come, neighing without a pause. What can be the matter with the horse? thought the father. Something must have surely gone wrong at home. So he dropped the reins and rode back. And he fed the horse liberally because he had been so intelligent, but the horse ate nothing. And when he saw the girl, he struck out at her with his hooves and tried to bite her. This surprised the father. He questioned the daughter, and she told him the truth, just as it had occurred. You must not say a word about it to anyone spoke her father, or else people will talk about us. And he took down his crossbow, shot the horse, and hung up his skin in the yard to dry. Then he went on his travels again. One day, his daughter went out walking with the daughter of a neighbor. When they entered the yard, she pushed the horse hide with her foot and said, What an unreasonable animal you were, wanting to marry a human being. What happened to you served you right. But. Before she had finished her speech, the horse hide moved, rose up, wrapped itself about the girl, and ran off. Horrified, her companion ran home to her father and told him what had happened. The neighbors looked for the girl everywhere, but she could not be found. At last, some days afterward, they saw the girl hanging from the branches of a tree, still wrapped in the horse hide, and gradually, she turned into a silkworm and wove a cocoon, and the threads which she spun were strong and thick. Her girlfriend then took down the cocoon and let her slip out of it, and she spun the silk and sold it at a large profit. But the girl's relatives longed for her greatly. So one day, the girl appeared riding in the clouds on her horse, followed by a great company, and said, In heaven, I have been assigned to the task of watching over the growing of silkworms. You must yearn for me no longer. And thereupon they built temples to her in her native land, and every year, at the silkworm season, sacrifices are offered to her, and her protection is implored. And the silkworm goddess is also known as the girl with the horse's head. And that is the Chinese fairy tale of the silkworm goddess. And man, that is quite a tale, isn't it? And horses are tied to the silkworm in Chinese mythology and lore because of the similarity in the shape of the head of both the silkworm and the horse. And while it's definitely there... This story with the killing of the horse and the silk war, it's, there's so much going on. And yet, it is so interesting, isn't it? This is Dan Schultz for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. 
And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget that if you'd like to help support the podcast, you can always head over to patreon.com slash folktaleproject, where for as little as a dollar a month, you can get early access to every story told and help support the sharing of folklore. As always, thank you so much for listening. <laughs>